create a new module. A module is a structural element of Magento 2. The whole system is built upon modules. Typically, the first step in creating a customization is building a module. To create a module, you will need to conduct the following steps. 1. Create the module folder. 2. Create the Etsy module.xml file. 3. Create the registration.php file. 4. Run the bin Magento setup upgrade script to install the new module. And 5. Check that the module is working. Let's go through each of these steps. There are two possible locations for modules in Magento 2, the app code folder and the vendor folder. Depending on how Magento 2 has been installed, core modules can either be located in the vendor Magento folders for the composer installation or in the app code Magento folder when you're cloning GitHub. Which of these locations should you choose for your new module? If you built a module for a specific project, it is best to choose the app code folder and commit to the project's repository. If you build an extension to be reused, it is better to use Composer to create it and put your module in the vendor, your vendor, module folder. Each module name in Magento 2 consists of two parts, the vendor and the module itself. In other words, modules are grouped into vendors, so you need to define the vendor and module names. For this example, let's name the vendor learning and the module first unit. Let's create the folder app code learning and inside this folder place another folder first unit. If you're using the command line, the code would be cd to the root directory, mkdir app code learning, mkdir app code learning first unit. Make sure you have permission to create files and folders in your installation. Next, you need to create an etsy module.xml file. This file is required for the module to exist. This file contains the following information, module name, module version, and dependencies. Module name is defined by the folders we just created because in Magento 2, class names must follow the folder structure. As we created the folders learning first unit, our module name will be learning first unit. And all classes that belong to this module will begin with learning first unit. Module version indicates the current version of database schema and data and is used in upgrading. Magento 2 has install and upgrade scripts in every module. To track whether to execute a script or not, Magento 2 uses module versions. Every time you implement a new database change, you implement a new version of a module and change the corresponding module.xml. Dependencies. If one module depends on another, the module.xml file will have a special declaration that defines a list of modules the current module depends on. For this example, we will make our module dependent on Magento Catalog. Then we'll add our dependency via the sequence, and enter in Magento Catalog as our dependency. Note that in the XML file we specified, module name equals learning first unit based off of the folders we created, the version equals 0.0.1, .0 the initial version of our module, and the dependency is Magento Catalog. Next, you need to create the registration.php file. And we'll need to put the following content into it. The registration.php file is a standardized file that follows the same pattern for all modules. The only thing that varies is the module name, which in our case is learning underscore first unit. The next step is to run the setup upgrade command. Running this command will make your new module active, notifying Magento of its presence. It should echo a large amount of output, one line of which should be learning first unit. Verify that this line of code is there. Finally, check that the new module is active. So far, we haven't added any useful code to our module. It is still empty and therefore invisible. In order to verify that it has been recognized, check the app etsy config.php file. It has a list of auto-generated modules that are active, and you should never change it manually.
Employing these steps, you can successfully create a new module in Magento 2.